Hello, welcome back to City Planner Plays where we are building Clearwater County. And in this episode, we are going to fix a whole bunch of basically loose ends that have been lingering around for quite some time. So those loose ends include the dam that I just created that's a mess, the golf course that I also just created that's a mess, and then some other things that you might not have noticed. So the first thing is one that I did off camera and I felt like this is something I had to do off camera because it was tedious. So there are, uh, so I switched over to the Tree Anarchy mod and when I did that, it pulled back every single tree that was underneath a road and pulled it through the road. So I looked at the page from the creator and uh, it, one of the things that's mentioned right up front, bold, is this is expected behavior, uh, basically. And it'll improve performance if you eliminate those trees. And I'm actually noticing after going through that I have better performance. So that said, that was a process. I had to go through every single road in the entire build, every single road, and eliminate those trees. So, <laughs> one of the interesting things is that Belmont actually had the most trees poken through, and I'm wondering if all of these trees underneath the road actually increase the flammability from the AI standpoint. So, maybe things will improve, who knows? So. If you appreciate that, uh, I, I would really like it if you hit that like button. Uh, it, it was certainly a lot of work. It took about an hour and a half. Uh, so if you do decide to do this in your own build, convert from the old tree anarchy to the new one, just give yourself some time because it's gonna take some time to make that conversion. And then I, I have a challenge for all of you. If you see some trees poking through the roads or buildings, please put a comment with the timestamp of that because I want to go through here and delete those and I'm trying to see if I can find one. I've really worked my butt off to not have any showing through and I don't see any app. Oh, 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 no, that isn't one. <laughs> but there, I, I assure you, there will be. There was a point in time where I couldn't go more than 10 seconds of scrolling through the build and finding a tree popping through everywhere, even bridges, things like that. So. I assure you, it is a thing. Uh, so, and then the other thing I want to take care of is the land value issues. Uh, this was pointed out in the comments. There's lots of abandonment. So this is my fault. So as the budget was plummeting uh, before, and we've done a couple of things, I let it run a little bit to, to build up the coffers again. We uh, we were having issues with our with our with our budget. So I had to go through and fudge things a bit. So if we take a look at our budget, uh, we're fine here. And then I took all of these things and, and, and lowered them. I'm gonna boost these back up to 100%. We'll get them back to where they should be. Everything from trash to healthcare, fire coverage, and most importantly for our build, interestingly enough, parks. So we'll get parks back to 100 and our unique buildings. Now the reason this is so important is it tanked our land value. So all throughout the city, places started to abandon because the land value is poor. So this will help out a lot. And I think I know why this happened. So uh, the eminent domain mod, which I absolutely love. I think I found a bug. <laughs> so the bug tester in me found it apparently. And I'm not sure if it has to do with converting to winter or just the mod itself, but I'm gonna reach out to the mod creator and see what they think. If, I'm, if my theory is right. Uh, basically, I think that when buildings were abandoning like this, if they ever demolished themselves, I was being charged for eminent domain. And when I lowered the values of everything, I set that into a tailspin. So I was, even though my budget looked good, I was positive because the buildings were being demolished, I was being charged leading to that issue. So I'm not sure if that was the case, but I'll reach out to the mod creator and find out. So interestingly, this is a, uh, this is a, our main mansion here and we're going to reset it. Everything's fine, don't look Everything's fine. <laughs> so that is the biggest thing. I think we're gonna take a look at the golf course. This is gonna be one of the bigger parts of the episode. So we'll take a look at that right now. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna start out looking at the golf course. And one of the things that you'll notice is that there are no longer greens anywhere. And the reason for that is uh, Maverick55 reached out to me on Discord and explained that they were working 
on a new asset, a revised version of the asset that I was using in the in the golf course episode, and uh, that asset that they were creating shouldn't pop. And the reason for this is the original golf course assets had a one by one size in the asset editor, and the game looked at that as a one by one asset, the same as a one by one house, for instance. And as you zoom further away, the asset would disappear because of its size. So they went ahead and made a modification. They call them CPP 1 through 18. And what you'll see when we place this is that the pad for this is very large. I believe it's 32 by 16. And when we zoom out, it pops out here. Now that is perfectly acceptable. You see that? This building also pops way out here. I'm going beyond what the game is supposed to let you do. And the other thing is we can come all the way over here. No popping. So looking very good. And uh, so the snow is melted. Obviously we can see that things are a little bit different uh, so that we can see things. There are some oddities. So you can see some white trees. That's why we want to be able to see the course when we're designing it. So let's, we're gonna think about the design of the course too. And one of the things that was mentioned in the comments was that generally holes one through nine will end back at the clubhouse. And then you'll have holes 10 through 18 loop back around towards the clubhouse. And that makes so much sense. I can't believe I missed it. <laughs> so the thought there is if you're going to shoot nine holes only, you could uh, shoot your nine and then leave. And if you are going to shoot 18, you could go and get drinks or go to the restroom halfway through. So either way makes a ton of sense. Okay, so I've got a lot of stuff to smooth out and a lot of water features to fix. So I'm going to smooth out some of these areas. Just a couple of quick pops. And for some of these, it's just to make sure that I'm not tearing the asset. Because honestly, I'm pretty pleased with most of these. Some of these are pretty high, but that's okay. It's some challenges. So. Yeah, I think we're gonna leave it. We just need to get our water in there and we should be in a pretty good place. Okay, so lots of flooding to make the water work, but I think we're almost there. There's a couple of weird spots. I think those are gonna dry out over time. Just kind of the results of the flooding, but this is what I'm more concerned about. Is this holding water? Looks like it is. It's not flooding anymore. I think I can go in and boost some of these out. Gently. Look at that. Really nice little water features. I like that a lot. So we are going to go and do a little bit more, just a little bit, enough to make sure that in some of these really tight places, things aren't too wonky. Might just need to, to accept a little bit of craziness. But I think it's looking really spectacular. We need to make our, our couple of connections into our neighborhood here. We had those before, and these are perhaps not perfect. Now, it was mentioned that these could be park gates. I actually like that idea. Why don't we do that real quick? So considering this is a park, we'll make it a park side gate. And I'm gonna use move it to relocate this where I want it to be. 
and then we'll make our connections in. There we go. That is great. Very excited about that. And it looks like American Eclectic is very excited to give me the building pads. So that said, it's actually very necessary. Let me see. So we have Elk Shores, and I just want to make sure our park covers that entire area. Yeah, that's a little much. <laughs> let's cut that off. And then for our neighborhood, let's shrink this up to only include the neighborhood. <laughs> so it'll be a little less confusing there. Very good. Now I want to look at the themes that we have here because I'm pretty sure that I have an issue. So let's go and take a look at American Eclectic and we're going to display only those that are enabled or included. And the construction made it back in. That said, they're actually needed. If we look at level one, the level ones are all construction. So if I take those out, we're not going to have any buildings develop here. So we're just going to need for these to level up. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to try to add a couple of parks to improve this area. So obviously a dog park <laughs> that was mentioned a number of times. And I think that would absolutely be the sort of thing that, that folks would look for here. And then the other, th the other park that we'll add, we'll add a small playground. Maybe just a small park. Yeah, just a small park. That, that actually fits very well too. Very good. And we can make a connection back to this neighborhood from there. There, give folks some options to get in here. Maybe we'll add one more over to this side. And I could totally see that happening. Uh, and being a, a selling feature of this area, you could run around your own neighborhood. You don't need to worry about anyone else coming to visit. So now we need to make sure that we have water to all of these areas. I'm not gonna get too crazy about this. We'll just make sure that that one hole that's upset is no longer upset. And we are going to need to add some trees back here. I'm gonna do that real quick. I'm gonna do the exact same thing I did before, clone some trees and just paste them all over the place. Okay, so now there's just a couple more small things I wanna do. I want to make sure that I have trees in very specific locations. I'll need anarchy for some of this and tree anarchy as well. I'm going to pull the coast in a little bit closer to this. We'll say that that's how some of this reclamation happened over here. Just grabbing some of this and moving it on over there. There we go. And uh, we're going to pull a couple more trees. We don't want to have only one type of tree in all of these areas that I filled in myself. So I could have used the forestry brush. I am just not great with it. So I prefer to, to be a little bit more deliberate with it. Okay, I am super, super pleased with how this turned out. I mean, this to me looks a ton better, but I wanna know if you think that this looks better or worse than the last one and uh, let me know your thoughts. We are going to, I hear that there's a snowstorm coming. We really should pop in here and have a quick golf course tour. And he was absolutely right. There is a winter storm coming and we are back to a snowy build. Now, one thing that I missed in the, in the, in the fall, spring, whatever it is, is water over here. So I'm going to add this, hopefully resolve the issues that we're seeing with water. Our golf course is doing okay. And, uh, you know, in winter, it looks fine. 
I wish that this iced over because this was absolutely ice over, but man, this is, this is pretty even in the winter. Very good. Very, very good. Very excited about this. So <laughs> now the part I'm not so excited about, that is the dam. So Planner Pete, who is on the Discord server, he was a, uh, one of the moderator or one of the judges in the, the 3060 Ti competition. Uh, he, uh, I had some ideas about this, as did a number of other people. Uh, so I want to try to get this dam working. So the main thing that was mentioned is that the, the problem I'm having with the dam is that the height difference is not great enough between the water up here and, and where it's falling. So I'm going to experiment a bit. Apparently, but like that. <laughs> so here's here's one experiment. So the thought is that this would need to be higher, potentially. But I'm wondering if I lower this, if that also does the trick, to try to generate some more power. So what I'm gonna do is just really drop this down, which will force this to hold more water. I'm gonna speed this up, and we'll see what this generates. Okay, so, you know, not dramatically more than before. If anything, it might be a little less, which is kind of interesting. Uh, it, it needs to balance out. That's certainly a thing. But still, we're not. Actually, yeah, I think it's worse. So that height difference there is a thing. So let's go through here. I'm going to flood out a whole bunch of stuff. Pull this back to this and we'll see what we have. So that was 32 to, to, uh, to, to 48, depending. We'll see what we get now. So fascinating. Now we are, are getting a we're getting a pretty consistent 48. Sometimes we're getting 64. And that is with raising this ground right here. So the theory that was being put out there in the comments and by Planner Pete looks like it's correct. Pretty consistent 64 now or 48 now. Uh, so that's interesting to me. I want this to look a little bit more natural, so we're gonna take it down just a bit. And then the other thing I'm thinking is, what if we were to lower this just a bit? So if we were to take this and just, whoa, <laughs> maybe that's a little extreme. Maybe not. Let's just see what this does. And look at that. We, we popped up to 96 for just a minute, 80. I just want to see if that difference right there is going to do the trick for us. Because then maybe we could figure something out. So interestingly, now we're hovering around that, that 48 megawatts again. So it didn't really do what we were hoping. So uh, we're going to replace this, make it as it was before, a little more natural. And we've got another option which is the one that I believe everyone was actually going for. So the idea is that we could come through here, take this and go to a much higher level. Now the problem is this isn't ideally suited for that. In fact, if we were to go back and think about this, maybe here, maybe here, maybe here. Uh, and the, the reason I say that is we, ha we can build a very tall and then the water flow is not strong enough there the other place that seemed like it might have some promise is actually right here over by Belmont the problem again is flow and killing Belmont so uh, we're gonna try to fudge it over here and the way that we're gonna do that is we will come up here and you can see that mega wattage because of the height is really good so this is the next idea, and that looks absolutely horrendous. We're not going to do that. <laughs> I think we're going to terraform a bit. And this always makes me nervous to terraform something this big. But if I want it to look even a little bit natural, I think it's the only option I have. So what I'm going to do is turn my brush, my brush strength down a bit and pop this on over here. And then we'll try this again. That's a much smaller dam. It's certainly not as powerful. But it's still not bad. 120 megawatts or 112 megawatts. 
So the idea is that this will all back up up here and fill up around here, create a, a small lake, spill out and then come here. So we'll need to get some roads and I'm curious, how long is this gonna take to fill up? Probably quite some time unless I do this. So give it some more strength. And now look what's that? Oh, it's, it's, oh no. I give it, well, I give it way too much strength. <laughs> oh, it's a nice lake. It's, it's really big and it's flowing. Wow. So 16 megawatts of power down here. We're at zero. Wow. That is a massive lake. I did not think it was going to get that big, but it makes sense. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh. We're leaking. We're leaking. Oh, 208. The leak? The leak doesn't seem to matter. 224? Maybe the leak is desirable. It's like an overflow or something. 312, 490. Whoa! That is wild. That is way more extreme than I thought it was going to be. And I guess now it's done. Yeah, 320. That is significantly more. Oh. So we're just going to let this normalize for a second. I'm going to let this run and see if the water levels get to a stable point. And before I do that, I'm actually going to patch this little area right here. It's going to keep leaking out. And that was not the game plan. Okay. And I'm going to let this run for a couple of minutes. I want to make sure that actually... No, I think I think we're, we're fairly stable now. So if we look... To... Uh, you know, three, between 288 and 304. Uh, it's popping around a little bit. That's okay. This right here... Uh, no, I'm going to let this run. Okay, this isn't improving, and I'm thinking that it's some of the terrain modifications that I made before that I'm now deeply regretting. <laughs> so we're going to come through here and lower this. I think it's just creating a, a real uh, strange situation as we're coming through here uh, where there's not a lot of storage for the water, and it's just slamming into here and creating all sorts of issues. The other thing was we have this deep pocket right here. And I wonder if that's another issue. Maybe if we make it a little bit deeper. And then let's take a look at our water. I'm going to lower this down. And see if maybe that helps as well. And we'll let this run again. It was su supposed to be flooding over here. So this will again take some time to normalize. We'll let this go and we'll see what happens. Okay, and I've, I've seen enough here to know that this isn't working. So what is going on right now is I think that the, the water level is stable and it's not quite high enough to come out here. So we're gonna need to raise it up just a little bit. Maybe to there. And we're gonna let this run one more time. Okay, so I just adjusted the water again and, and this is interesting. So it's just, there is a fine line between producing almost no energy and producing such an excessive amount of energy and water that you destroy everything down creek. So I'm a little nervous now. This is, <laughs> whoa, 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 what did I make there? What is that? What is that? All right, we're gonna need to, I don't even, I don't, I don't understand what I'm looking at. It's just like a, a water sinkhole, what? <laughs> Okay, it appears that something is going on here. I don't understand what it is. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Uh, whew, I do not know what to do. Which is generally how I feel with these power plants. I'm going to try to to resolve this a little bit oh boy what a mess so let's go ahead we're gonna we're gonna try to slope this i'm wondering if maybe that helps otherwise i just need to get rid of this thing it's not helping 
I wonder if getting rid of that helps. Whoa. Oh boy. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh, that was not what I wanted to happen. Oh no. 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 Okay, hopefully all this madness stops soon. I don't understand why it's going absolutely ballistic, kicking out water. We'll slow this down a little bit, see if that helps. I don't know, but beyond that, like what more is there I can do? But Shorewood is dying. They desperately need to not have this happen. And that actually brings up a good point. We don't have any way to deal with this kind of flooding. We don't have a pumping service or anything. So I'm going to see if we have the ability we can place that. And we're going to place that right over here. We desperately need it. So we'll just get it hooked up right away. So and they'll stop right in front. Perfect. There's so much flooding. What are they going to do? <laughs> so our little embankment didn't work. And now this stopped. Oh my goodness. This is frustrating. Dams are frustrating. I don't know why I keep coming back for the pain, but I do. Because <laughs> I'm uh, clearly a glutton for pain. And I have terraformed the heck out of this whole area now and made it unrecognizable. Also, destroyed this part of the city. Ooh. Please dry out quickly. Just need this water to just flow through here quick. Ooh, well, Shorewood is... Uh, it's a resilient place. Because I'll tell you what, everyone here has had a bad time. <laughs> oh. Oh, shoot. We also do not have a disaster response unit. So this is a problem. I think there, we're about to get one. This is not something I was excited about adding just yet, but I feel like we are in a spot now where we just absolutely need it. We're gonna slow things down. So this is a big building. That's my problem with it. Ah, uh, I wonder. I am going to do some things. We're not placing disaster response unit yet. We're just going to reset some objects. It's not the right time. It's just not the right time. So I think those are just about the only things that were completely destroyed. I mean, there's a couple of structures here and there that I think they're abandoned, not necessarily destroyed. So we're okay. I guess this is a bit of a problem too, driving through the frozen water to leave the city. <laughs> <laughs> which I think a lot of people would be doing at this point because this is a mess all right so where are we at now with our dam Boy, everything looks pretty terrible right now pretty terrible so now we have no water coming through here I'm very frustrated and I'm starting to think that maybe I just need to add a second one back here and we'll have two and see if that works you see a little ripple there. We'll speed things up and see what this does. Oh my goodness, I think that we have it. So it's been bouncing between 170 and 192, and it seems like it's finally settled on 192 megawatts of power. It's not bouncing, it's not flooding, it's not going 208. Yeah, it feels, it feels 224. It feels good. We are going to double dam because we, uh, I am determined to have the setup we had before. So this is this, this is our second line of defense, hopefully to slow things down a bit further. You see that, wow, what this ends up doing is just creating this crazy mess here. Absolutely bugs me that it decides to flow back up the river here. I don't know why it's doing that. I am obviously not a, a hydraulic engineer or anything like that. I am very curious if there's anything that I can do to prevent this from occurring. 
Okay, so I think yeah, this is going to be a challenging spot. I'm going to raise this up just a little bit. The height of realism, raising the height right here. <laughs> we'll just bring it up so that it serves our purposes. We're really generating a lot of water back here, and that wasn't happening before, so that's certainly a challenge. 288 megawatts of power. We, we've got, you know, 64 down here. This should serve our regional power needs for quite some time. And, you know, we've created a new lake. <laughs> So I guess we've we've got that going for us. Uh, I might just formalize that, remove the trees here and lower this down just a bit to try to compensate, or we can just leave it. But I certainly want to remove the trees from all these areas that are now underwater. This doesn't make sense. It also really bugs me that we have, at this point, this river that's flowing backwards. <laughs> There's so much power. It, yeah, I don't, I don't love that. If you have any ideas at, at ways that I could fix this, I, you know, I'm, I'm sure that I could just throw a dam here or maybe even raise the height of the whole river in this particular area. Just feels like there should be a way to channelize the water this way. So I'm not 100% certain the best way to approach that or if I should just stop <laughs> with, with the dams. Maybe I'll just widen this just a bit and see if that does anything. And I am going to raise this up. I want to. I don't want this big lake here. That was not what was supposed to be here. Whoa, 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 whoa! That was not what I wanted to do. Let's. All right. So I know that this is killing some of you, and I'm deeply, deeply sorry. <laughs> this is one of my weaker points in the game. Dams in general, I just struggle with them. Which is quite obvious if you've watched Bluffside Crossing and if you've watched this now. <laughs> so, very, very sorry. Very, very sorry. It is really extreme. There's just, it seems as though there's very little I can do to make this work correctly. Outside of tamping down the water that we're creating up here, but we just got this working. It's still, I mean, three. Oh, 320, 304, and then another 64 down here. It's really working well, so I'm reluctant to do that. Let's just try to raise this road up just a bit more. And then we're going to use our unified UI. We'll find our slope tool. And I want to slope this a bit, and we'll see if that helps at all. And it seems like we're reaching some sort of equilibrium here. Which is good, because I am <laughs> at my wit's end with terraforming. It's just not super fun when dams are involved. At least not for me. I'm guessing that you've had similar experiences where you just end up in this rut with water. Uh, we've got a backwards river, which is awesome. That's just, I've always hoped for one of those. <laughs> so, I'm glad that I could make that happen. I hope that you enjoy the backwards river. I, I don't know what to do to fix it. <laughs> it's so bad that every now and then we flood. So that should help there a bit. Uh, I'm thinking a dam across here could probably do the trick. And it's not uncommon in places, in, in areas that have dams, to see a number of them. It's just, I can't even get it going in the right direction at this point because it's the flow is so backwards. <laughs> so... Uh, it's 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 a rough spot. I am gonna try one thing. Maybe this is silly. I am curious if I raise this up. Oh boy, I shouldn't do this. I shouldn't do this. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna find the last height and bring it over here and see if that helps. So this is the last height where it's going in the correct direction. It looks like it's at least slowed the flow. I'm gonna pull this all the way through and see what happens. Okay, so I want to look at the flow lines. We'll click into... I think the best way to see it is to click right here into our power view. And what I'm noticing now is that there really aren't flow lines. It's going that way a little bit, but it's slow. The other way to accommodate this would probably be to drop the river at this point and channelize it further right into the Ashland Bay. We're looking 
There's a lot of water. <laughs> I'm gonna try. I, I, I really, as much as I, I, I despise the amount of terraforming, at this point we're just kind of playing the game, trying to make it work. So what I've done now is created a basin. I've got to continue this out, otherwise it's gonna continue to have strange things happening. So we're gonna pull this back and we're gonna shrink it up as it comes through. And we've actually dropped lower than sea level, which is a little concerning to me. And you'll see that, oh, it's not working. It's not working at all. In fact, you'll see that the water just kind of stops here. Yeah, I don't know. I, 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 am, I am very, very, very stumped at this point as to how I could even attempt to resolve this. It just doesn't seem like there is much that I can do. So I am going to cut back. I'm going to raise this level back where it was before and hopefully stop all the madness. <laughs> so we'll cut back to that in just a moment. Okay, so I just have spent a, a ridiculous amount of time trying to get this to work, terraforming the heck out of everything. And here's what I can tell. So uh, one of the problems we had back here was our water source. It was really big, so this was set to one. So I reduced this to 0.05 and set it up basically to the, the, the rim of the dam to, to try to, I guess, control it a bit. And that seems to be working. The problem is the power is bouncing. So it's bouncing between 175 and 208 or 174 and 208, no clue why. I shrunk this up to try to channelize this. The water still flows the wrong way. There's nothing I can do to prevent that as far as I can tell. Uh, but we are no longer killing shorewood. So I think I might just take that as a win for now and really seek out some help. I can only count down 176 megawatts of energy here, which is probably okay. It's just a little disappointing. Uh, even at that, I'm just glad I'm not flooding out the city anymore. <laughs> so maybe I should take that as a win. We do need to make a road connection here and a power connection. We're really high now. So that's going to be a bit of a trick. We need to switch back. So we're going to try some things. So I'm going to click here and then we're going to wind our way up. So I'm going to create a level pad right here and then another one right here. And every 10 meters or so, I'm gonna to try to create that pad that we can switch back. Maybe I should increase the strength and have a non-fuzzy brush, that might help. So we are gonna, here we go, all right. And at this point, I'm just gonna start getting the roads going. I'm gonna use my planning roads because I'm gonna probably end up deleting these quite a bit. We're gonna turn our terrain on and then I'm going to slope this. Ah, interesting. I did not like that. There we go. So I just needed to play with that just a little bit. It, for whatever reason, did not want to make that turn. So I need to stretch this out just a bit. So if anyone has any ideas for the dam in the comments, please or please leave them in the comments. I, you know, I really struggle with dams. Uh, one of the reasons I just kind of hopped off and did a little bit of work off camera is it's just at a certain point, uh, I, I feel like I could bore you guys to death having me go round and round in circles doing the exact same thing, or I could try to show you the solution and result. So. I apologize if it's disappointing that I went off camera for some of that, but it was helpful to me. <laughs> so <laughs> at a certain point, I've got to think about that a little bit too, because I could not, it, 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 maybe it's a stage fright sort of thing. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, anyway, we're, we're making some progress now. Oh, wow. We've got a long way to go and we've gone nowhere. <laughs> so I think we're going to make this fairly steep. Well, make sure that we're doing this right. Right mouse click, right mouth, mouse click on the current height and the desired height. We're just going to take that a bit further down this time. Why don't we just work this down the side of the hill without that? 
So that's one of the things about being able to use the new slope tool is that I should be able to bring some of this back around and clean it up. And then I'm just going to use the curved road tool over here and connect up. All right, good. And let's hop back over here and clean some of this up. Yeah, like that is exactly what I'm talking about. So let's find some of these and clean them up. So there we go. I just wanted to, to make sure that these slopes are okay. Now if we come and we look from here, I wonder if it let us go this far. Nope, that's too far. We can go to here, and you can see that it's a pretty gentle slope, except for right here. Let's uh, see if we can fix that. There we go. Or is acceptable, we'll take that. Let's go ahead, we're gonna smooth out some of this terrain. Or raise it way into the sky. <laughs> Just some of the things that look a little crazy. And now we're gonna upgrade our road. We're almost there. <laughs> it's been, this has been a, a, an interesting one for me. Uh, I, I hope it has been for you because it's been very, very interesting for me. So I'm gonna take this and make this a highway. There's no reason that this would be anything other than a highway. Okay, and I, I actually kind of like what it did over here with uh, making this a natural bridge here. We're gonna do that using the earth rather than trying to uh, trying to create a big bridge span. That To me, this makes a ton more sense. And let's look and make sure it's not too high. It looks like it's just about right. That's, that's very good. And then we'll come through here using node controller and just clean this up. Or rather, our slope tool here. And then I am going to use node controller to slope these. It just looks so much better, so much better. Uh, I can also fix this up just a bit, get rid of the unified UI, and just pull this out. And this feels so benign compared to everything else that we've been doing. It feels wonderful. If I don't see another dam for quite some time, I will be happy <laughs> because I'm so bad at them. But I think this is an important part of the build. I'm gonna actually convert them. One more segment over. Yeah, that, that needs to be converted. That's much better. Uh, so now we have this, we, we've created this area over here that could be something. The power again is stable. We'll make our connections. There we go. And now the power is making its way into our system, which is just completely full of power. <laughs> We are fine from a power standpoint. The city is no longer flooding. Look at this. We are uh, we're finally in a good spot. Let's slow down and take a moment to breathe. And wow, I am uh, I'm feeling like we've made some good progress. We've got trees down here, and considering how much I talked about trees, you better believe the last thing I'm going to do is leave a whole bunch of random trees anywhere on the map. So this has probably been one of the longer episodes to film, but I feel very accomplished at the end of this one. I feel like I feel like I've taken a master's course in hydrology and I've become a lumberjack and I've removed more trees than I've added in this series now, which is very weird for me. So I'm I'm feeling very good. Here we go. It's steady 176. We can count on that. The water no longer uh, completely destroying our city. We, oh, we have more trees. We're gonna come through. Got our old riverbank and our new one. So I did do quite a bit here to make this work. In fact, there's probably even more that I could do. Kind of just tapping through some of these and smoothing things out a bit. That said, I, I am very nervous. No matter what I do here, I seem to make things worse. So. <laughs> Maybe I will just call it, uh, but definitely have improved some things with this. I feel like it's predictable at this point, and that was the main problem before is it wasn't predictable uh, and couldn't keep couldn't keep anything steady. I'd, I'd love to have another dam here. I just don't know that I'm going to keep things predictable if I do that. Uh, I did uh, they'd really like the look of that. 
And I think that there'd be some purpose, some practical purpose to that, but it just didn't, didn't work out. Uh, that said, the flow, when we take a look, that was another thing we were very interested in. It is going this way, but it's not quite so extreme. It's pretty slow and steady, so I feel like I feel like we are uh, in a good spot there. Well, there's one last thing I want to take a look at, and that is policies. So we had a number of policies in the city that we weren't really using, that I think could be very valuable. So first of all, I'm wondering, we could say no electric heat, but we have overproducing electricity so much. I think we're going to leave it as is. I just want to go through all the policies to make sure that things are in a good place. It looks to me like we are in a, in a fine place from a general policy standpoint. So I think, I think we're going to leave it here. Uh, this has been a very interesting build for me. Hope it was for you. If you did like it, please hit the like button. If you aren't subscribed, please consider doing so. And hit, hit the notification icon if you want to know when I release new videos. Uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next one where I will not be fixing things. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye.